Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here, it's Mac. Welcome back to 2024, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I decided to, I gotta wrap this uh, 30 years war video uh, let's play up. We're playing uh, War Game Design Studios 30 years war. We're in the middle of the Breitenfeld battle, the historical one. Playing the Swedes, man, and getting my ass kicked badly. So uh, it's been quite a long time since I actually recorded uh, anything from this battle and so I've sort of lost thread completely. Uh, I just remembered I was getting my ass kicked by the AI, which is actually quite unusual. I usually, you know, do good in my battles, but this is a new game, new tactics, new things to think about and I've sort of screwed it up, I think. And uh, wow, yeah, it's been a massacre, man. Uh, I was so overconfident in my troops here but the sneaky uh, General Tilly here surprised me with his reserve cavalry and he just sort of charged and slaughtered all my skirmishers, rode into my guns, just caught me off guard, man. I had, my infantry were not in block formation, they were in line formation. And he, he has, he does have some, his, his cavalry is somewhat superior to mine. Uh, I have to rely upon my firepower more. Uh, so he got the best of me there, and I was sort of just general chaos in the Swedish ranks, man. We sort of losing it, and our Saxon allies just abandoned the field and left some stuff behind that I couldn't use, and it's only he took them as well. It just, ah, it's just a mess. Uh, but we're gonna try and do something. I think we're actually running on a. Um, it's, it's actually draw at the moment, man. It's insane. I've lost a shitload of stuff. I mean, I've lost sixteen hundred uh, infantry. Almost a thousand cavalry. He's lost two thousand though, and one gun is destroyed and ten has been captured. So it's pretty bad, man. We lost supplies as well. Two leaders are dead. He's lost four though, so it's kind of a strange thing going on here. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna pick up from where I left it. I think I was sort of I had done this sort of flank here, and I'm sort of moving in some of my trying to save my guns and my units somehow shield my, my skirmishers and stuff. He's got one cavalry force, these black knights, man, the heavy knights, they just sort of still just go straight into my lines here. It's just nuts, I'm taking heavy casualties. We're gonna have to do something about these guys. They're disordered. He does have a leader with him, so. Uh, yeah, and another thing, it doesn't say on any of the Swedish cavalry that, you know, they have uh, pistols and stuff, but they do have pistols. One of my YouTubers actually wrote me that. Uh, but it's it's modeled into their melee ratings because the Swedes were fighting in a different way. They sort of used their guns right before they went into melee, and sort of they that's why they had such good melee bonuses on some of the cavalry here. Uh, I would I think I think that's the case. Um, so all right, so let's see. Did I do this? I'm sort of moving up stuff. I'm trying to harass these guys. See how it goes. All right, he's got he's reforming his cavalry here. I, I like that that the way the AI is actually doing that now. It's pulling back its cavalry. It's got its leaders here. It's it's gonna and he's gonna go for another fight. It would, would be realistic instead of just being caught up here and being slaughtered by my guys. He sort of smashes in, kills a bunch of my guys, retreats, and then reforms basically. All right, so this is a this is really bad. This actually this formation hasn't been that badly touched. Who are these guys? Uh, all right, so they were. What? Oh, those, those are my uh, matchlock, I mean, my, my uh, salvo matchlock dudes from this. They retreated all the way over here, man. We do have a, kind of an intact uh, Swedish uh, brigade here. Um, so, are these my reinforcements? No, these are actually frontline troops. The problem is these guys, though. I need to get them, them out of there so I can, don't have to move through them and get disordered. Let's just pull them back. Right, we want to advance a bit here. We want to... I'm pissed off now, man. We gotta do something. Oh yeah, my... <laughs> Scottish archers, Hamilton's archers. Apparently they're routed. Don't know what happened here. Sort of, I have to re-watch that video to, to remember what the hell happened here. Um, this is a, terrible as well. His cavalry is harassing me like nuts. And he's sort of... His infantry is fight... He's fighting in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a column formation. Oh, look at that. So it's all his routed cavalry is all the way back here now. It's, he's got some routed infantry and routed... And this are reforming around his leader and they're going get, to get back for some more. I need to get get up here and start, you know, get some good defense line going with cannons and stuff and sort of try to get him. 
Uh, yeah, so he's fighting a lot in column formation, I noticed. Um, so this is one tricky aspect of the game that I have, I think I'm struggling with. It is the different formations, because I mean, I know a line formation is good if you have, uh, if you want to increase your firepower, basically. Blocks are good for horse defense. And the column is mostly for traveling, but I think some units here probably, I mean, we are in, a, in an era of warfare where maybe some units, like for my, my Saxon allies that have actually ran off the field now, uh, they, could, they couldn't deploy in blocks. And I, I, I was thinking maybe that was because they were so poorly trained that they, you know, they, they didn't know how to form a square or something. But it might be that they are sort of fighting, some of them are actually fighting in column formation. I mean, and he has a lot of dudes in these. I mean, these are a thousand plus men. Even if, if he would attack in a column formation, I think it would, you know, it would be pretty devastating for like a small troop size. And if only 500 or 400 men were defending of like a, maybe, let's say, I, I don't know, it says 900 here, but some, some maybe have like 1,200 men or 1,100 men, I'm not sure. So, I mean, that's a big advantage. They, they, they would just be piling right in there, man, swinging their pikes and firing the muskets and swords and shit. And, I mean, they would just overwhelm the defender, I would imagine, if they were, you know, all revved up and pissed off and just charging straight in. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, so, sort of struggling with that uh, a bit. Uh, what I read in the manual, generally, in, in you, you fight best in in square formation it's a very good offensive and defensive obviously very slow offensive but it's solid but to take the full advantage of my guys the Swedes that are actually you know using their guns a lot uh, they would uh, be uh, forming lines to be able to fire I would imagine uh, it's a bit of a struggle, but uh, I'm getting there. Uh, okay, so let's deal with these black knights. I think they're real tough and charging into my dudes here. All right, so these guys are in trouble. Um, this this cavalry here, though, who, who's in charge of them? Okay, we got we have plenty of cavalry. We should be overwhelmed. They are 400 plus, though. Uh, so apparently we can't fire with our cavalry. So we want to switch them maybe to facing. What's this? We have a unit... I can actually de deploy and fire with the muskets. Um, I mean, I want to, I want to kill these guys, man. Um, see if I can deploy in a. Yeah, so it takes a lot. Of, I won't be able to make it. No. Okay, so they will. They have a range of two. They can fire one salvo at a long range. Uh, we have more horses here. Uh, what is the parameter data? I forgot about that. Uh, so it's 666 cavalry horses maximum stacked there, all right. All right, so we want to get some guys in here. Uh, we have our divisional commander here. This is the actually the reserve echelon. It's just being engaged right now. All right, we do have a little brigade commander there. So he's going to be going there. Right? These guys get to get back, man. They are taking heavy... 25% casualties, man. Um, let's pull them back. Can't deploy them. Let's get this... Oh, shit, I forgot. Can I move him? Yeah, all right. Uh, the thing is here, uh, if he recovers real fast, and I have my skirmishers right in front of him, he's just going to form up a charge, and he's going to slaughter them. So I need to be smart with my skirmishers, man. Uh, I'm not sure if the skirmishers get reduced to movement. If they're affected by the zone of control, I think they might be immune to that. Let's see. Oh, they can't. No, they can't move into uh, that close to the cavalry there. Maybe they can go around. Oh. I wonder if they can approach from sort of the flank. No, they cannot. All right, but we want to. Try and surround these dudes here. I'm going to kill them off. Yeah, all right, so we have that going there. Um, these, they are not, they should be in block, though. Um, but I'm just going to, he's not phasing me. So he should, okay, he's got pistols, man. He's got pistols. Interesting. Um, 
So I probably will not be able to deploy those guns. Okay, movement zero as well. Um, I'm gonna shoot him, <laughs> I guess. Skirmishers, can they get in there? All right. Um, man, he's getting a lot of opportunity fires there. And, um, all right, we wanna get these skirmishers maybe they can fire there at him. We do have another echelon here. Maybe I should have put them in actually in a block formation. I right, said so they do need quite a lot of points there. All right, we do have some reserve cavalry here. We have some more German cavalry. We have a lot of German cavalry as reserves. Um, That was dumb. I probably shouldn't have moved in there. Now I'm blocking the line of sight. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, I'm blocking it. Great. All right, so get out of there. All right, so that was a, a blunder. All right, slow movement there. Um, we'll see what kind of damage we can do there. Probably not a lot, but we'll stress him out a bit. Um, all right, so this has been done. Uh, yeah, this here, man. He's got lots of cavalry here. He's all ready to fight again. The problem is these, they will move very slow, these guys. All right, they can move two hexes, not bad. All right, I can't move the guns. I'm gonna have to put them in limber mode. We block, we are. All right. Need to advance. Need to start, you know, forming up, surrounding him and stuff. So they're moving in. What the hell happened here, man? Why are they routed? I think maybe they got hit by the guns. <laughs> I didn't get back. Uh, poor old Hamilton. All right. Uh, what's going on here? He's got a block here. Interesting. We have lots of disordered dudes. Um, so he's ready to fight. I probably should form into a block as well. Uh, get these guns forward. Uh, Alright, so they are recovering. They're still, they can't get in. They're still disrupted there. These guys are in a block, which is good. So let's get them up there they are still in the line uh, so they're just gonna have to we have fired apparently all right uh, what's this have they recovered no okay he's facing me here with some dangerous stuff though he's capturing my guns there hmm we apparently we have fired so we can't do much here what's going on here uh, he's moving in column I mean column formation are supposed to be kind of um, you know, uh, not the best to face, like, cavalry. They, they're not su supposed to be that good to fend them off. But maybe they maybe they are in this case. I'm not sure. Uh, even they might be their default formation. They're not disordered or anything. But we have some badass cavalry here. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I should just... just I got these guys here. What's going on here? Call them column all right so what we could do what's he, is he got any horses here no so these guys here should shift fire at them okay with 13 casualties not bad and uh, i don't know maybe i should just charge into them see what happens or charge wow 12 men killed i think that might be their default fighting yeah they're very dangerous in column as well Right, what's going on here? Um, Jeez. Okay. Um, what's this? Okay. Uh, we need to kill them. I say face the enemy and advance. What's this? Um, cavalry. Okay. So we want to. I mean, you want to hit them from the flanks and stuff, and, and rear charges and stuff. Uh, since I don't, since I can't fire with these guys, uh, that's the divisional commander there. All right, um, he's got good command range, so I don't want to kill him. 
Oh, I just moved the wrong dude there. All right. Um, or. All right. Let's see if this guy can get in there. All right. Uh, we do have a brigade commander as well. All right. What can I do with them? Uh, I could probably go for a charge as well and hit him. He's disordered. Might do good damage. I'm not sure. Um, all right. We'll sacrifice a leader. He'll go with him. Let's we'll see how that goes, man. I'm not sure. All right, he's moving in some badass stuff here as well. All right, so I think we fought them off. All right, we do have some sneaky units hiding in the back here. Um, that sort of... Ooh, all right. Go and grab some of this. Maybe we... I don't know if we can actually attack his... What's this worth? 100 points? Really? He's just left this unguarded, maybe? Is these these wagons are in trouble as well? Um, right, so they're going for that. Let's get these out of it. Oops. So I'm gonna lose these. That's a lot of points. All right, this is a disaster. Uh, just uh, try and get the hell out of there. Oh shit! Force supply. He's captured my guns. Uh, these these are trying to run for their lives. Um, these are basically sort of ranged cavalry there, but they're all disordered. So maybe I should just keep pursuing them and hopefully, you know, I don't know if we can actually catch up with them. Probably not. Ah, shit! No, we can't. All right, let's just get him out of there. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, this is a problem here. So we're detached. We can't attack. We're sort of stuck here. Um, I probably should have just put them here. Backing off. He's got his guns, though. He's just going to pulverize me with those guns. Right, what's going on with um, this cavalry formation here? Uh, we need to engage. He's got mounted troops. Those guys are disordered. Very tempting to attack them. Um... We do have some cavalry here. We could go just go for melee with him. Um, we can't stack these together though, uh, because we'll be overstacked. We, we could harass him. I think he might have pistols though. Um, let's just leave them. Let's get him centered here. Okay, what are these guys? Left wing cavalry. We we have deployed it to dragoons. Um, all right, let's get them down a bit. We have some more dragoons here. Very dangerous. He's got more cavalry in the back there. Um, This is bad, man. Um, let's deploy some dragoons there. We do have this cavalry as well. Um, really would have wanted to smash into something here. Um, let's just get them down, so keep them here. See what's going on. I'm not sure, man. Uh, right, we do have more. He's coming through here. Uh, Oh, so he's part of that formation. Let's get those skirmishes down. Have they moved and stuff? I think they have. Yeah, all right, let's get this. We, we need to get this infantry down to face that dangerous thing coming right at us. Oh man, these guys look like peasants. White guard, yeah, these guys are not as um effective they can still block though it's ready to face the enemy there all 
Alright, let's get some wagons going there. Well, we do have this here as well. We do have this as well. Ooh, we have some routed to get. Oh, they're part of that. Okay, so these guys are routed. Just trying to get them out of the way so we can move in troops. We have our big guns. Uh, so now the field of fire is not the best here, man. Um, that gun is fired. So is that. Um, right, we do have reserves. I think. Uh, who are these guys? Second Echelon. You know, he's, he's divisional commander there, right? Hepburn. Okay, he's got more troops coming in here, right? We need to get. We need to get down. There's the brigade commander. The, these guys can block. They're fanatical. We need these guys to help out. We have these uh, skirmish guys. So this is mostly, this is just infantry here. What's this? Oh yeah, I'm part of that. Okay, um, let's get down here. They got some guns as well. Right, he's in charge. So is he. Teufel, he's the frontline commander there. Right, let's get him standing with the guns. What's all this? Um, who's in charge of these guys? Do they have a brigade commander there? They're, they're detached, so there's no leader here that can command these guys. Maybe that was him? Oh, that was him. All right. <laughs> uh, let's get these fanaticals down. Maybe it's up to these guys to change this course. All right, we do have some artillery guns. Wow, really been uh, taken off guard in this. I like it. It's good. It's not a. It's not a pushover here, man. It's kind of, kind of a challenge. Um, let's get some wagons down. What's this? Are they probably their supplies? Gotta be careful, there, though. Oh man! All right. Uh, so I, I think I did this last turn. I think I might have done some charge. I'm charging here. Okay, we're gonna be hitting those black knights. Are they those badasses there? Oh, he's fresh. Hmm. Heavy. Heavy cavalry there. Oh, he's, he could kill those guys. Um, what do we have here? We have some B... 150 horses and 377 there. Those guys can charge. We'll be hitting them in the flank. You know what? We gotta be aggressive here, man. If we're gonna have any chance of taking care of these guys, he's really aggressive. So uh, I'm gonna put these guys here. Why not? We have our king. <laughs> he might die. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Wagons. All right. So did I move these forces? Yeah, I'm moving. I'm sort of surrounding them. Uh, they have not fired. Um, he's leaving his supplies kind of in the open here. Um, what's this? We can't charge, unfortunately. unfortunately. Uh, but I guess we could go for melee, but there's over a thousand men. Um, only sending 300 horses in there, it's gonna be dangerous. I think we'll just leave them like that. All right, can we fire at anything? Let's see. So we did a few things. Right, they can lay off a salver on that. Let's see if they do any damage. Right, 11 men. That's not much. All right, they're going to fire these horses. 14. Um, they could fire. One man, okay. They're detached and they sort of, I think they just recently formed into the square. Can't fight with the cannon there. All right, so these skirmishers are gonna harass these forces. No effect. Yowzer. 22, that's, that's pretty okay. Let's 
firing back with his pistols. Still 400 men there. Yeah, all right. Um, what are we doing here? It's got a block formation there, okay. Three men. Only three. Eight men. Hmm, maybe we should have attacked there. I'm not sure. Uh, these guys can fire at them. Oh, they're dangerous, yeah. One man, okay. What kind of front 21, so they can fire. 13, that's good. Five, okay. Uh, yeah, these guys are pulling back. I guess they should fire at something. Okay, wow. <laughs> uh, all right, I think I should end it and just see what the hell happens here. Uh, I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna go into Jumele phase, that's right. I'm not sure where to. Did I move this stuff? I haven't really moved these guys. Um, they're firing on these guys. I haven't. Yeah, I want them to recover fast so I can start deploying them into a square or something. Yeah, all right, let's go into the um, melee phase. Okay, so what am I? What was I supposed to be doing here? All right, so these guys are charging. I mean, apparently, I wanted him. Quite a lot of horses there. They don't have that great of a. They're gonna go head on to these three hundred men. Mm -hmm. But they are charging. It we should have an advantage. Yeah, advantage attacker. Nice right, firing his pistols. Shit, nine men died. Arr! That was good. We lost 21 to 61 of the defenders, so that was a good attack. Um, right, moving on. Uh, yeah, so I could commit them just in a melee. We have a melee bonus of three, man. But he has, I think these guys, this heavy cavalry are very good at melee. And they, um, they're not even disordered or anything, so he's probably going to kick my ass here. Yeah, that's a dangerous one. Uh, Alright, we're charging here, apparently. We're going to hit these guys in the flank. I mean, this, on paper, should be good. I mean, okay, it's heavy cavalry, but he's disordered. One of our units is actually charging, the rest is not. Alright, we could go for an attack and see what happens. We do have an advantage. Nice. That was good, man. We only lost 12 men to 46. So that was good. And he's sort of retreating now. We might not have an advantage anymore here. All right, so this is only these guys that can continue. And, I, and they're only 146 men. Yeah, so he's going to get a bonus there. He's, he's, he's way more than me there. So, All right, moving on. They can attack, but it's no point. Right here, uh, he has 400 heavy cavalry. Um, they are disordered. We are going to commit a melee attack on his flank. We're not charging, uh, which would have been the best, but I want to see if we have an advantage. We do have an advantage in that, so let's do it. <laughs> we lost 50 men. He lost 25. Uh, we probably got some bad dice rolls there, I uh, would imagine. Uh, okay, moving on. Yeah, so here is... Right, do I want to... I mean, I could commit 510 men. They have a good melee bonus. We should be able to do this, but we're going to leave these guns undefended. And he's got... He's just going to go straight in and capture those guns. He's probably going to go in straight in and take my supplies as well. I don't think I should do that. But we are charging here. All right, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I wonder if we can... I mean, we're charging. He's in column formation. He still has an advantage. Hmm. I wonder why. Is that his default 
So he, he doesn't he doesn't need to go into a square to sort of fend off my cavalry. He's just gonna he could he could do that in a column formation apparently. All right, he's gonna get a firing on me now. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Oh, uh, this is looking bad. I don't think I should commit this this charge. This, this is going to end really bad, I think. Right, I'm, I'm going to cancel that, actually. What a waste. What a waste. All right. Uh, they can attack, but uh, they will probably get beaten off as well. I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to see if he can get if he gets a fire at me. No. So he can only fire forward, I think. All right. We, we're not going to do that. That's a bad one. Um, okay, here. Let's see. All right, we're charging. We have a lot of horses here. Good melee bonuses. He's apparently in column. He's disordered. We have an advantage. Oh shit. Oh, 80 men to 151. charge him in the back now we still have an advantage 27 to 64 I wonder if we can he's got two leaders there but what if we change charge change our charge and hit them in the flank no prediction uh, that's I don't know that's that's he's fresh so but we could still smash these guys in the back we still have an advantage here 28 to 70. All right. So maybe they, those guys hopefully will be, will route. Okay, here we go. What do we got? We're going to be attacking him right from the rear with 400 cavalry. And this should be good for us. Apparently not. He sort of turned around and fought us off there. We lost 36 men. He lost 32. So. What does that say? That must say that his quality must be superior to us. Uh, or we got just got really bad dice rolls, but must be something. I mean, we attacked him from the back there. And he has, he was disordered and still he won that fight. We were fresh. We lost our leader as well. Hmm. I don't know, man. Sometimes it's kind of even, not really sure. Uh, we still got him. We still got a draw going. So the imperialist is first. Um, if we get him down to six hundred, we're still we're going to be at the minor defeat for him. All right, send it. And see what happens here. The, the crazy general Tilly does. Let's regroup in his cavalry. I think it left my guns. I'm actually impressed by the AI in this. I think it's pretty cool. Nice. His, his infantry is just going for the kill there, man. He's just moving in. All right. He's moving in more infantry. I don't think that I don't think that those guys I killed a lot of actually routed. I think they're still capable of fighting there. So this might not have been such an easy victory for Sweden after all. I mean, uh, yeah, he's pulling back his cavalry now. He's sort of regrouping there. All right. I think I need to be aggressive now. I don't think I have any chance of capturing those objectives without taking huge casualties, man. All right, he fired up the guns. Seven guys. All right, twenty-four. It's good. Yeah. So when moving the uh, my units, to, ouch, are firing, you do lose a lot of oh, shit. Fourteen guys. Yeah, how are these black knights doing? Okay, now we're doing some, dishing out some good rifle damage here. Okay, I wonder what he's what he's going to be doing for his uh, melee here. Okay. Oh, 
He's just, Jesus. He is so aggressive. 28. Oh, wow. Man, he's badass. Wow. Withdrawal is pending for Schoenberg. Withdrawal one hour center. Withdrawal one hour for left wing. There's 18 units on disorder. 33 chick. Five units rallied out of five. That was good. Eight units routed. Oh, yeah, we lost a leader. Man, we're getting our asses kicked. Still at the draw. Man, okay. Wow, this is tough. He seems to have a lot of forces too. Oh, his cavalry is he's, he's all being rallied back here now. He's all getting ready for another kill. Wow, his infantry is vicious. Poof. All right, but these guys are going to have to fight them. All right. What the hell is happening over here? Yeah, he captured those guns with his, uh, with those uh, Cossacks. Looks like he's, he left this place. Uncrewed. Detached. All right, so let's see the guns. All right, so that battery can fire. That battery can fire. And they can. So why can't some batteries fire? Obviously the ones that are not deployed. These guys probably can't see anything. No. But I wonder why I can't like fire with these guns. Okay, oh, that one's actually turning the wrong way now. But these, okay, they aren't crude. There's nobody there. All right. Looks like his horses get back there. Wow. Right, I'm gonna end it here, man. It's good to be back in this. It's good to be back in the Thirty Year War game again. Um, it's looking good, uh, but hard. Still struggling with tactics in this game. What's best to do and what's not. Sometimes it's, it feels like even though you have the odds in your favor, you lose. Uh, but of course, that could be yeah, like in any war game. It's just a bad dice roll. I mean, you get unlucky. Uh, but some things here are still hard to know. For instance, this column thing. If that Maybe that is their default attack. I mean, according to the manual, the column is... I mean, overall, the worst way to fight, but it does say that some units still use the column. I'm not actually sure. That was more during the Renaissance, but maybe it was still going on during the uh, Thirty Years of War. And I, I'm, I'm not sure how many men there. I mean, they, they could be huge, these blocks. And, and just the sheer number of men will overwhelm. I mean... These, these 75 skirmishers here. I mean, if over a thousand men would charge these guys, um, <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't stand a chance. So, uh, right, we're gonna have to deploy some stuff here. We're gonna we, we're gonna beat him off. I'm, I'm gonna do my best. Right, I'm gonna end it here. We're gonna start a fresh turn in the next one. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next part. Have a good one.